Oh, guys, yes, I come back to you again on another hot day. Hello, guys, welcome. Or if you've already seen my channel before, welcome back. I'm the Philadelphia Whovian, and I come to you now on another very hot day. So if you see sweat dripping down my neck, God, it's hot. What can I do? All right, so this video is going to be me talking about that beautiful thing, one of my favorite villains of Doctor Who, the Cybermen. This is a video of how the Cybermen of Doctor Who came about. Cybermen are iconic villains. They have been in Doctor Who since the first Doctor's era. Even though they were became fully into their own and really like awesome in the second Doctor's era, and the best stories for me personally of Cybermen are in the second Doctor's era, it really began in the first Doctor's final episode with the Tenth Planet. Now, The Tenth Planet was a script that was aired in 1966, and again, last story of the first Doctor, and it was the first one to feature the Cybermen. And the Cybermen, how did they come about? Well, because of one man, or the beginnings, or the origins of one man, Kit Pedler. Kit Pedler was a medical scientist and also a science fiction writer, etc. and so forth, and Kit Pedler, he was very interested and he loved the idea of writing for science fiction and he came him and jerry davis developed a relationship when i say relationship i mean a friendship jerry davis was the script editor to doctor who at the time and so he commissioned the, of kit petler to write for doctor who and he said to kit petler write about something and create something that is important to you or speaks to you and so Kit Petler, the way the story goes is, he went home and he thought about it, and he began to think of the idea of humans, when it comes to, they get, humans get injuries, be it from being, fighting in war, or just their old age. They get replaced by metal, like their body parts, when they give out on them, get replaced by metal parts. Like the idea of you getting braces on your legs, or you get metal in your leg because you can't walk anymore. Metal in certain parts of your body because of an injury you suffered there and that metal is there to serve to serve for a replacement. So the idea of men and women gradually turning into machines. That's what began to interest Kit Peddler. And so he came up with the idea of the Cybermen. Of people who were human ones, I'm sorry, and entities that were human ones and they were to survive longer, they were turned into these creatures, Cybermen, where metal parts were consistently added to them to create and to maintain their existence. And with this, what a great invention. Now, the actual Cybermen were first designed by, I believe, Sandra Reed in 1966. And Anique Wills, the actress who plays Polly, she said that she actually liked the original design of the Cybermen because the original design of, of the Cybermen was to still look very human. They were human with metal parts. But over time, of course, the Cybermen would get redesigned pretty much almost every single episode or story they were in for practicality's sake, which I'm perfectly fine with. But with the Cybermen, they... When Kit Petler now wrote the story, but Jerry Davis came in and kind of added touches to it, and this would go on for every single time that they would write together, where Kit Petler would write something and Jerry Davis would assist with the writing, but Kit, Kit, Kit Petler came up with their original idea. Now, there's more to it than that, probably, though, and I admit that to such. Mm -hmm. When it comes to that, of what Kit Petler came up with the idea of the Cybermen, well, I actually can refer back to the story that I've been, not story, a book I was advised to read. Doctor Who, The Unfolding Text. Doctor Who, The Unfolding Text is a story, is a book that I love certain elements of and don't care for certain elements of, but this part I do very much like. It turns out that Kit Petler, he was also inspired by something called Dan Dare. Dan Dare was a science fiction um, comic hero. And Kit Petler, he, I believe, he says to the Cybermen, it say it resembled the Mechons Electrobots in 1957 Dan Dare Reign of the Robots story. Peddler makes the link between Dan Dare and Doctor Who quite specifically. He says, The first television writing I did while I was still an academic was for Doctor Who and during the creation of 24 episodes. I invented some monstrous creatures called the Cybermen. 
At this time, I was obsessed as a scientist by the differences and similarities between the human brain and advanced computer machines, and I was thinking that although I could easily imagine a logical machine reasoning to itself and manipulating events outside of it, by no stretch of the imagination could I visualize a machine producing a poem by Dylan Thomas. And so the Cybermen appeared. They were an ancient race on a dying planet who had made themselves immortal by gradually replacing their worn-out organs and limbs with cybernetic spare parts. They had become strong in the process and always behaved logically but had lost their feelings and humanity as they became more and more machine-driven. Very much like the Trines and Mechon against whom Dan and Co. waged their longest battle. Yes. So there you go. Now you know some more of the inspiration behind the Cybermen. It was also behind um, not only Kit Petler's fascination with the idea of humans being given metal parts to them to help them recover whenever they something they got infirm, but also with inspiration from the comic hero Dan Dare. And after the Tenth Planet, even though some of the ratings had dropped in the first Doctor's final season, it didn't stop the the Cybermen from being a magnificent hit. And Anique and Michael Craze um, were amazed at how quickly the Cybermen returned to Doctor Who because there was the Tenth Planet. And by the way, the Tenth Planet, the title of that story, Kit Petler's wife, she was the one that suggested the Tenth Planet be the title for that story. But there was the Tenth Planet. Then there was um, The Power of the Daleks, the second Doctor's first story. Then The Highlanders, where we get Jamie. Then there was, I believe, The Underwater Menace. And then came The Moon Base, where the Cybermen are back. That might be the first or one of the fastest return of a new villain that the show has ever had. But it was amazing how swift the Cybermen did come back and they did very much become iconic in their own right. And I absolutely love the Cybermen. And when it comes to the voice of the Cybermen, I believe one of the people who speak the voice is Roy Skelton. He did, I think he's one of the actors who did the voice of the Cybermen. He said he made it very sing-songy where it goes up and down, up and down, so it's more mechanized sounding. But that is the beginning of how the Cybermen got created. Now, mind you, if anything I said was incorrect, see, I'm going off of DVD commentaries and things I read, but sometimes things you read and even DVD commentaries can be faulty. Please let me know in the comment section so that I can make sure it was rectified and therefore I have no problem being corrected because knowledge is more important than my pride. Proper knowledge is always more important than anyone's pride. So yes, now video on the creation of the Cybermen. And dear God, I'm sweating. <laughs> I really am sweating. Sorry, guys. But yes, now you story and video on how the Cybermen were really created. And by God, they are so freaking cool. Guys, love you very much. Hope to see you again very soon. What do you think about the Cybermen? Or do you have a favorite Cyberman story? Either way, let me know in the comment section. Guys, peace out.